In this video, we're going to try and clean text that we've imported from another application into Excel. We're going to try and clean it to get rid of non-printing characters. Now, um, our character set in Excel is 255 characters. You can see that down here. These are all the 255 characters. The first 32 are non-printing. Now, I haven't actually put zero in there but I've got one through to thirty one and you can see all the non printed characters there. Now to get rid of any of those non printed characters you can use what's called the clean function. So let's just try that. So any of these characters can be stripped out of text using the clean function. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little example here. Here's my text and I've got a little character there, a little character there, a little character there. And those can all be found in my list of cleanable non-printing characters. So what I all I would do is I'd say in this cell equals clean open bracket click on this cell A1 press return and there we are I've got the clean text but this one is slightly more involved because I've got this little character here I don't know if you can see it like a square on an angle or a rectangle on an angle. Now that is actually character 127. So these ones with an orange background are non-printable characters, non-printing characters, but they are actually not cleaned by the clean function. Now the way to get around this is to substitute this character for one of these characters and then get the clean function to clean the text. So this is how it works. I'd say equals clean. Now um, I then want to substitute. And the first argument in the substitute function is asking you to specify which text you want to substitute in. So that's my text if I'm cleaning. And then the old text that I want to substitute is character 127. You can see that little character function there. And then the new text, the thing I want to substitute it for, well, it can be any of the characters that the clean function works on. So I'll just say character 1. So then I close the substitute function. That's always required. The text you want to substitute in, the, the the character that you want to substitute and then the character you want to substitute for. And then I just need to close my brackets one more time for the clean function, press return, and it does in fact get rid of that little character there. Okay. If I'd have done it without the substitute, it doesn't work. I still get that little box in there. But using the substitute function, I can in fact get rid of those additional non-printing characters.